Hi, this is oh, this is the uh, color profiler tool that we have in, with Toshiba. It allows us to um, make the color better. Out of the machine, uh, we pretty much get business color. That doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Using the PostScript driver, I might get a little bit better. Yep. When I actually do a profile, we go from this to this, and there's quite an improvement. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I can see a significant difference. So with that, uh, these are built into all our color equipment. We've got a tool that we can actually create a color profile for paper and for um, different types of stock uh, and try to get as close to the Pantones. We can actually upload Pantones into the machine without a firing. Really? So tell me a little more about how the Pantones are used and what the opportunity is there. Okay, so uh, a lot of graphic artists design things for business cards. Almost everything out there goes in and uh, will have a corporate color, you know, uh, McDonald's red, things like that. And they start from a Pantone recipe book. Mm -hmm. So this is a Pantone color bridge and it has all their formulas for color. So if we take a look, and this is, this will kind of show you an example. Sure. People will, will design around this Pantone, which is a pure color mixed with uh, tons of different inks for a, for a press. They would order this spot color for their logo. With uh, CMYK, the four crayons that most color copiers have, this is what you get to be happy with. And there is a difference. Sure. Some of them are, are completely different, night and day, such as this one. Uh huh. So we can actually, if it's within our gamut, we can actually map closer to this. When you send it off to press, it's going to pick the Pantone color. And when you give a sample to your clients, your prospective clients, you're going to get close to that color. And it's just driven by that Pantone number, so. Right. So if they so use you that match it exactly. Number, it matches exactly. Perfect. So it comes in handy. I one of the places I had to do was match um, ink with a uh, um, for makeup, and when we printed it on the machine, this pink was actually gray. All the skin tones were green instead of beige and tan, which looked you know normal. So I went in and took all those Pantone colors that they had put them in the machine, printed it out, brought it to them, their file. And I didn't expect it, but they took the bubbles of the uh, makeup and put it right up against it. Wow. And it was dead on. Awesome. They're used to a high-end Xerox with uh, a, a big rip. The machine that they had was probably close to $75,000. Wow. It couldn't hit it anymore. Yeah. And so they were looking to replace it. And so this did it. At, you know, not even a quarter of the cost. And we were able to hit the colors and our competition had to add a device like a Fiery, which is, adds about $5,000. And you don't need that. And I don't need it. I just did it with the stock machine. Awesome. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you.